Yo, what the hell is up, dog folks? Zaka in here, and today I actually realized um, that I am going to need at least two forms of recycling. Um, this is kind of important, just for the simple fact that, um, because if one type fails, because these are both normal cards, uh, this is a normal spell and this is a normal trap, we kind of need um, this gonna need both of them because they'll just make a great lockdown strategy so um it's a great strategy to test against but um i'm kind of thinking things are gonna be a bit faster if i use a random deck and maybe it'll make it more interesting yeah starting deck shuffled um yeah create game this does mean I do have to wait to see if I go first, but I have been uh, doing that the whole time anyway, so let's see how many duels I can win. Think, and uh, I'm not sponsoring, but this huge high quality screen recorder thing, a uh, red high quality screen recorder for Chrome, is an awesome screen recorder. Let me tell you, it is just so amazing. Anyway, so now while it may be tempting to play Relay Soul right away, the idea is actually to play Baseball to make sure you at least have a card in your deck. And so yes, we are going to activate Team Detonation and Team. And this actually stops uh, certain strategies that would normally like to have your opponent um, Foolish Burial, we're going to activate Relay Soul. Just to make sure he cannot special summon whatever he got from the graveyard. And let's see what he's playing. Dark Magicians, folks. Yeah, he's playing some weird mix. I mean, who plays Mecha Phantom Beast with Dark Magician? That's pretty odd. I'm gonna go right for it. No reason not to. Nope. Yeah, it was gonna have me activate Chain Detonation. It looks like that card's completely useless. I wonder where the options are for um for choosing which zones you go into. That doesn't seem like a good option to remove if you want to keep your customers. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> Now, watch this trick, because what you can do here is I can actually infinitely recycle these two cards. As long as they can both be activated, then I can recycle them as much as I want. So even if I lose my monster, I can still like, do damage. And I think there might be a glitch with the system, because that arrow is not working the way it's supposed to. And it looks like this is the end for him. Not a very consistent strategy, if you ask me. But maybe that's just because our core Chris is him from special summoning. Whatever the reason, though, um... He basically has no time to sit up, and not only that, because he has no time to sit up aboard, um, my Arcord Krista does pretty fine. If you guys feel like challenging me, we can definitely set up a time. Just make sure you use the uh, Eastern Standard Time when talking about time with me, okay? I don't feel like converting things or having any sort of... Uh, accusations because um, I didn't uh, because you because they didn't show up on your convenience. Now, if you want to challenge me, be aware that I am going to use this deck, and it will probably be on camera too. Anyway, I'd like to actually special summon something first. Special summon one level 3 or 6 monster. 
I wonder if I can actually negate that using Relay Soul in Arc Lord Krista. What's gonna happen here? Yeah, it just negates the special summon. So this would actually prove very powerful against um, Boral's Boral deck. Because without their ability of special summon, what are they supposed to do, right? It's this. Turn monster cards in direct attack. Then you can apply this to monster and even with non tuner monster from graveyard. Total equal retro value. Total summon one. Total equals. Oh! So this one. It stops a direct attack and gets you Stardust Dragon on the field. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know about that card. Out of all playing with Yu-Gi-Oh, not once have I ever seen that card. So, uh, yeah. Let me just keep going. He's gonna run out of monsters eventually. If he can't special summon, there's not much he can do. So I would like to draw bait on before he gets that card. Oh no! No, 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 no! I didn't even know about this card. Well, I'm going down, I'm going to down as much damage as I can. Congrats! You stopped my Relay Soul strategy. Yep. Okay, folks. Relay Soul is not a consistent strategy. That aside... Yeah, I'm gonna make that the title of the video. Um, can Relay Soul is not a consistent strategy. I wonder if there's anything else for um, special summoning one monster from your hand. I mean, I can think of one if we're just using Relay Soul once, but then I have to go back testing with Alter Gist. But anyway, this one is something you guys are going to want to know about. Something you're going to want to know about. Valhalla Hall of the Fallen. This is a beautiful card for Fairy-type decks. Um, it's not a perfect card, though, but it does allow you to get cards like Arc or Krista back onto the field. And I think instead of Bait Doll, uh, yeah, I'll keep Bait Doll. I think I should only be making one change at a time. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and try that out. I know I will be taking damage, but, um... Ultimately, I think it's going to prove a tad more useful in getting that benefit of um, no damage. And with the lockdown, I'm not really expecting to take any damage anyway. And if he wants to throw Trick Stars at me with Trick Star Lily Belt as uh, effect, then he can do that. I don't mind. I can knock out Trick Star Lily Belt in one go. And do a lot more damage than Trick Star Lily Belt can do. Speaking of which, if this doesn't work out, then I can definitely uh, read the Temple of Kings. So, two cards go in the deck. I'm gonna activate the Hollow Hall of the Fallen. And while I don't get to activate it on my relay for my opponent's turn, I still get to activate it on my turn. Rescue Rabbit, huh? Not a bad choice. Oh no. Huh? Oops. Okay. No! Oh, I could have stopped that too. Oh, it's gonna get me in the Oh, you are so in for it. You know, you're gonna get me in the back. Um, my trap effects one has XYZ material. I think if I can get my 20 tier 4 cards, then one trap color. 
what means the activation of the shield to your deck the game where this effect becomes that crap. So I'm screwed. Okay, yeah, that was uh that was a complete mistake on my end. Remember that demons do uh make mistakes. We are people just like you. I'm going to go ahead and check the time. I think I have time for one more duel. I mean, I could end it here, but honestly, I'm not one to dissatisfy my my people. <laughs> Anyway, if there's a shorter combo than Big Doll and Machine Detonation in um, Temple of the Kings that actually works, I would like to know about it in the comments below. Something like maybe a little more consistent. I will make the rule though that whatever it does has to work on Nexus. So, for example, because I don't have any spellcaster monsters, even though it doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, because... What? There is just too many ways to get rid of this card, isn't there? The unfortunate side about this is our card Krista, it doesn't matter because it goes on top of the deck. Let get it right back. One thing I don't like is that I now have this 2500 attack beat stick to deal with. There's no way to deal with it. I have two cards on my deck. Let's do it. <laughs> no protection though. Let's do this. And of course. I mean, what was I supposed to do, right? I gotta wear him out of here. So I'm gonna prefer that thing. Oh. Damn. What? Did you just. Denounce my the hollow the hollow the fallen strategy as well. Oh, that is so it. So we are going full throttle. I'm sick of this. We are going full throttle. We are uh, done with this. We are done with this. We are going full throttle at this deck. With this opponent's deck. I'm gonna make him pay for the day he did he did that to me. Now, I could probably win a duel with these three cards alone, but, you know, <laughs> I need some more protection for our card, Krista. Hmm. Hold on, does someone's clothing work only if it's the, uh, only set card in your spell and trap card zone? So if I can find something that Chain Detonation does, uh, continuously... Um, that, uh, yeah. The only thing is, Chain Detonation ends up making itself to the hand just in time for Psalm Scolding to screw me over. I mean, as tempting as Solemn Scolding is, I need a way to get those life points back. I'm actually surprised Solemn Judgment isn't, uh, banned. Like, what happened? Wasn't Solemn Judgment banned not too long ago? I guess Solemn Judgment is now a necessary part of the meta game, And I guess Solemn Scolding is, too. So what I can actually do here is, uh, throw in... Uh, possibly two solemn scolding, maybe. Just because it's at three, I'm gonna try that. I mean, solemn scolding can stop anything, so it's kind of nice, actually. Um, there you go, just dire of the lost dragon. 
Now, what this card does, it's a very uncommon card, but when I was looking to start out the Dawn's Dragon's Frizen, I found this one. This one isn't great for going first, but if you know what your opponent is playing, it is helpful. But I think I'm going to stick with Psalm Scolding. Actually, better idea. Because Solemn Judgment is at 3, I can reduce my life points twice and still hit 2,000. The only thing is, if my life points are previously deducted, I have nothing to worry about unless I have, like, 2 life points, which is ridiculous. Then, instead of, um, Chain Detonation, Chain Healing to get, the, to get that back. Get those life points back. Slowly, yes, but surely. Now, uh, one thing I do notice with this deck is it's not perfect. I am um, a bit worried about uh, chaining off, um, chain healing off of Solemn Judgment so it doesn't have perfect synergy. We'll see how it works. He's got paper. Oh, shoot, I've been recording for 15 minutes, haven't I? Well, he's going first, so I am going to just exit now. Um, so anyway, if you like my video, be sure to subscribe. I am uploading as often as I reasonably can. Remember, the Great Zaka and Time Lord has other things he has to do in his life. You know, so I am uploading as often as I can. I'm really trying to fit these in. But if you guys feel like challenging me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, I will do my best to be at your time and date, but you need to use Eastern Standard Time, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, due to the fact of where hell actually is. And um, with that, I'm going to end this video. This is Zachary and signing out.